author's point of view i will be there in 30 minutes make conference room ready when heard her husband's voice while she was making breakfast for both of them jungkook was on phone call as he walked down from stairs holding his laptop in one hand he looked up and his eyes met his wife who was putting food in the plate for both of them good morning wayan said while walking towards the dining table to food to put the food on the table good morning don't put my breakfast on the table i am getting late for my meeting so i will not have my breakfast jungkook said as he saw the food on the dining table he didn't wait for the reply and walked towards the door as he reached at the door he spoke again don't wait for me for dinner i will be late today goodbye jungkook said and walked out from the door why and look at the food in front of her and start eating all alone she couldn't help but recall how she got into this marriage jungkook is one of the best men among his group but her heart was not with him she was forced into this marriage it wouldn't be wrong to say both of them were forced into this she is the only daughter of her parents so she have to shoulder the responsibility for her father and uh, his father had made agreement with his business partner to help a marriage between two family she was not interested in the in this relationship thing because she liked someone since she was young she she had a faint memory of that person but she still hold his heart in from grip cookie i miss you hope you still remember you promise and will come why and sad and become overwhelmed due to her emotions her cookie was the first friend she made in her life she still remember when she met him it was her fourth birthday party and her cousin who was 2 years elder than her bring her to the washroom and forget about her when why and came out she was lost so she start crying in the corner of the hotel hallway at that moment little boy came to her and asked why are you crying mama said you will be not pretty if you cry his words make why and shut up instantly what you are lying no my mama have told me that and she never lies why and hurriedly wipe her tears and ask i am not crying any more but i want my mama where is she why and was trying hard to hold her tears your mama you are lost you lost her i came here with nona but she is nowhere now i i want to go back hey hey don't cry i will take you back tell me where are your parents jungkook said in his childish voice acting like a little adult they are at party you know today is my birthday why and said oh i know why your parents are I was also invited in your party. I came with my mom and dad.
As she went inside her closet to get her clothes, she saw Jungkook's pajamas hanging on his closet door. She went to take it and put it in laundry. She took the pajamas. Something fell from its pocket. She bent down to see what is it and it was a female pendant. It was not some random pendant but it was but something why and was quite familiar with. It was her pendant. This was given by her to her cookie. On the day he left the kindergarten and promised her he will come back and be with her forever. She was sad that time so she wanted to give something to her cookie to remember her always. But why was this with Jungkook? Why Anne was confused but suddenly something came inside her mind. Is Jungkook my cookie? This this was well then she's her thoughts she opened the pendant and indeed there was the photo of hers on the side and other side was little Junko. She was happy and sad at the same time. It was obvious Junko came and still remember her but why didn't tell her about this? Don't he know is why Anne was waiting for him for so long? He has to she has to confront him and ask him why he did this. With this in her mind she hurriedly changed her clothes and called her assistant. Hello ma'am Rose inform Mr Kim by instead in case someone is confused. I can't make to the meeting today so handle this handle the shareholders for me. Wyan said and without waiting for the rose's reply, she cut the phone. Time skipped half hour later. Wyan was in front of June Corporation. It was her first time here. Most of people don't know her here. She walked towards the receptionist and asked, Excuse me, excuse, I want to meet Mr. Jiyun. Miss, do you have an appointment? No, I don't have an appointment, but I'm his wife, Kim Yn. Yn sat and took out her ID card, even though most of people don't know by her face, but she was sure they know with whom their CEO was married, so showing her ID was a good idea. Receptionist saw the idea and confirmed she is really Mrs. Jiyun and said, Welcome, Mrs. Jiyun. We, we have not seen you before, so please forgive me not recognizing you. It's okay. I just want to meet Jungkook. Of course, please take this, take the elevator of the left side. It is exclusive elevator for CEO and is connected to their office. Receptionist sat and gave her the card to open the elevator. Thanks, Why and sat and went inside the elevator. She reached out the top floor and walked towards the CEO cabin. She was, she saw Jungkook's secretary and greet him. Hello, Mr. Min. Is Jungkook inside the office? Mr. Min was shocked to see Lady Boss in front of him. Morning, ma'am. Sir is in meeting and I will inform him your arrival until that you go and rest inside his office. Mr. Min sat and led her in Jungkook's office. Wyan went inside and sat on the couch. 
Inside the office, Jungkook didn't let her wait too long. He came just five minutes after Ryan sat down. Is everything all right? Jungkook came inside and asked. He knows why and is not someone who will come here without any reason. Ryan didn't respond but put her phone down and took the pendant out. Care to explain Mr. Jeon Jungkook? Jungkook's eyes went wide when he saw the pendant in Ryan's hand. Ryan, I can explain. I'm sure you can, so tell me why this is in your hands. Mama, you can get all right.